Who is the giant demon fighting the Justice League in the upcoming movie, and how is he connected to Darkseid? Hi, super friends, I'm Jason Inman, and I'm here to give you the download on all things Justice League in a new series I like to call Justice League Explained. So we've now seen Steppenwolf do some giant axe action in the trailer for Justice League. And we've also seen his giant build a figure action figure, which you can only get if you buy every single Justice League action figure, connect the pieces, which I did, so don't judge me. But the first thing you need to note is that he looks quite different from his design in the comic books. And that design, of course, comes from the king of comic books, Jack Kirby. Now, when Jack Kirby left Marvel Comics and went to DC, he created a whole shared universe of comic characters called the New Gods. And Steppenwolf is one of these New Gods. Now, the New Gods, if you don't know, are beings with superhuman strength and speed, plus a whole ton of other abilities, and they inhabit the warring planets of Apocalypse and New Genesis. Together, this whole group of characters and planets are known as the fourth world. Now that means the fourth iteration of gods. And in some comics, Earth is called the fifth world, suggesting that Superman and the Justice League usher in a whole new race of gods. This was played around with a lot in Grant Morrison's Final Crisis event. Now fun fact, if you look at the multiversal map of the DC Universe, first introduced in the Multiversity by Grant Morrison, you will see that both of these planets, New Genesis and Apocalypse, are outside the DC Universe, meaning that there is only one dark side and one Steppenwolf that exists in the DC Multiverse. That's why you need a boom tube to go to either of these planets, because they're outside our multiverse, basically our reality. Somewhere, Stephen Hawking's head just exploded. I can tell you that. Now back to Steppenwolf's origin. He's actually the uncle of Darkseid, or Uxus, as Darkseid was once known, and he now commands Darkseid's armies. You know, the army made up of thousands and thousands and thousands of parademons. In Steppenwolf's first appearance in New Gods number seven, he murders the wife of Highfather, who is the leader of New Genesis, basically the good Darkseid. It's this murder by Steppenwolf that kicks off the whole Apocalypse and New Genesis War that Earth often gets involved in. Now, Steppenwolf is not a very important New Gods character. He's usually just a supporting character that shows up in the background of many DC stories in Justice League of America, and he even showed up once in uh, Superman the Animated Series. In the New 52, which was the DC reboot where Barry Allen missed his mom and ran back in time and rewrote the timeline as he did so, Steppenwolf gets his biggest storyline. He invades Earth 2, the second Earth in the multiverse, in the comic book series named Earth 2. Now, Steppenwolf leads a massive invasion of the planet by Darkseid's parademons. Ultimately, Earth's heroes manage to successfully repel the invaders, but the Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman of Earth 2 are killed in that battle. It's moments like these that make the Earth 2 series a really great read for any DC fan, and actually, if you haven't read it, you should really consider it. It's the series where Steppenwolf mainly wears his horned costume, so you can tell that this series is a big influence on the designers of Justice League. Now, let's jump ahead five years later in Earth 2 time, and Steppenwolf is still hiding out on Earth 2, and there is a $300 million reward for him. He's eventually killed by that world's version of Bizarro, whom Steppenwolf had actually employed as a soldier and indoctrinated into fighting for Apocalypse. So if you're looking for a comic to understand Steppenwolf, then you should check out Earth 2. I put a link down in the description if you would like to check it out. Now in the movies, we see Steppenwolf in the extended edition of Batman v Superman, seemingly telling Lex Luthor to find the three mother boxes on Earth, which we know is a plot point of the Justice League movie. It's already been revealed that these mother boxes are all over the DC universe. One mother box is in the possession of the Amazons, another is in Atlantis, and another is inside Cyborg's heart. Now, why does a new god need mother boxes. In the comic books, mother boxes are prevalent everywhere. Every new god has them. It doesn't seem like they're a big deal to have. It doesn't seem like anyone is struggling to find them. So does this reveal that in the DCEU, mother boxes are special? Maybe there actually is only three mother boxes. That's the reason why we have to find them, because maybe they're the key to getting to new Genesis. Whatever the reason, 
I know that Cyborg is actually going to be a very important part to defeating Steppenwolf because he's a walking mother box, and I almost predict a familiar relationship between Wonder Woman and Steppenwolf because maybe she has heard tales of him from old Amazonian legends. Whatever Steppenwolf pulls off in Justice League is going to pale to the fury that Darkseid is going to bring when he shows up, and it'll be very interesting to see how long it takes Darkseid to get inside a DCEU film. Thanks for watching and make sure you click subscribe so you can see every single chapter of Justice League Explained and then click one of the videos on the screen so you can check out more of my content.